Okay, hey everybody. So I want to show you how to make your final portfolio PDF using Bridge. Right. So if you notice, I have my final portfolio folder right here on my desktop. Again, I just like to work this way. It makes it easier. But if you have it in like a flash drive or a portable hard drive, it would be in there. You can have it in your documents, your downloads. We can navigate to it through Bridge. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to open up this folder. We see those same images I showed you previously. And there's my title page, which I have as number one. So that should come out first on the PDF. And then they'll go in numerical order. So if you need to rearrange, if you want a certain arrangement, then you're going to need to make these files numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And they'll go in that, that way there. Or A, B, C, D, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, so it works alphabetically, numerically, alphabetically um, in order of how they're going to get um, tossed into that portfolio. Okay, so um, now I have that open. Let's close that. Let's open up Bridge. So I'm just going to open up my Bridge and I'm just landed on my username here and I can look at any of the files on my computer. So here's my desktop. I'm going to navigate to my desktop to my final portfolio folder. So if you need to go back to computer, find your uh, portable hard drive, your flash drive, uh, or navigate through to your um, downloads, your documents, your pictures, or wherever you have things stored. All right. So once you're there, um, I've opened up this folder. I now have all these images that are going to be included in my final portfolio. And I can go ahead and um, select all of those by doing Command or Control A, and you'll see a, green, a blue box around everything there. Once you've done that, we want to go to this other workspace called Output, right? Um, and here, which is where we made those contact sheets, so it should be slightly familiar if you click on Output. And what I already did was I already set it up to have all of these highlighted down here um, and ready to go onto my PDF. Okay. So a couple things we want to look for over here is the way things are set up here is we want to go to this um, document. Um, template can be one by one maximum size, first of all, right? So we only want one image, one file, one JPEG, if you will, um, on a page. Um, I'm going to pick, I'm going to say um, you can go for a letter, you can go to A4, you can pick a different whatever sizes. Uh, that you want here. I'm just going to go with letter, uh, make it eight and a half by 11 seems kind of normal, but um, it doesn't really matter what size you have here as long as the full picture, both horizontal pictures and vertical pictures, the whole thing fits on the page. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep my background color white um, just because I like that, but you could change that background color um, if you hit there and then pick a color, but um, I think white would probably be good. Um, for most people, black sometimes works for certain work, but um, I think that I would keep it simple. And this resolution at this point should now be 300 PPI. Um, image quality could be around eight or so, that's fine. And we don't need to worry about any of this because there's only one image per page. Um, we could also change um, grids and margins, um, but that's really not necessary. Um, this is super easy. These are all highlighted. Click once on one of them and then drag and drop in there it says add 15 files let go and we've got our pdf okay and we're on we land on page 15 so right here i can go ahead and go back and start from the beginning so there we did there's my title page first and so on down the line each picture um, looks good okay so the only thing i don't like is my title page being that way. Um, so I could change this for one thing. I can see, do we want to make this the other way? So we do 11 by 8.5 or whatever number reverse. And we start off like that and we go this way. So I think it depends on how many pictures you have, what orientation you want to use. You could think about something more um, squarish also. So I can make this, let's try 11 by 11 and see what happens here. Let's drop these in. Oh, that was only one. Oh, that's not bad, okay. So let's highlight them all, Command A or um, Let's get rid of this one now. Just click there. And then uh, we'll go 
get the rest of these and that's that one. So try and find a size and a shape that looks good for all your images. All right, so that's that's kind of cool. So I like that. I think that works for me. Okay. Once you're happy with that stuff, go ahead and click Export PDF. We're going to click on Export PDF. Give it the title. I believe I want it to be first initial, last name, final portfolio should be the title. There we go. Um, it's going to save to my desktop. That's fine with me. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, so that'll take a minute or two to save. Depends on how big your files are and how many pages you have. So this was just, this was a like one image kind of shy of the minimum requirement. You should have 15 um, images, um, 16 pages with your title page at the very minimum. Uh, you can go up to 20 images, 21 pages. You could push it a little bit more if you've got a lot of good images. Okay, So I just kind of opened up my, um, uh, my Adobe viewer here and I can see my PDF and we can look at it beautifully this way also. Um, which looks great. Okay, and if I close this, we can see that that is right here on my desktop, and I'm all set. All right, thanks. I think that should do it.